Uh, Maryland high school student uh, Preston Diener was being interviewed by a local television station, WHAG. And during the interview, you know, he was talking about bullying. Uh, he had been a victim of bullying for quite a while. And as he's being interviewed, look what happens. The student came up to me and pushed me out of the way and said, what are you recording? As Preston got ready for his interview, three boys approached and one began hitting him in the head. The student was um, chasing me and all of their friends were chasing me and then so I ran and got some help. Preston was preparing to talk on camera about being bullied at Brunswick High School. That's when the attack happened and he was chased back to the school. <laughs> He's learned to go to the administration when he's bullied, especially after what happened last week. The student tackled me and I responded punching him back to stand up for myself for the first time. I'm, I'm glad that he stood up for himself for the first time. The reason why I want to play that video is because it perfectly illustrates how these kids think that they can get away with it because they've been getting away with it, right? So when I say that administrators aren't doing anything about the bullying issue, that's exactly what I'm talking about. There are cameras rolling. It's not like they were in some isolated park and this kid was just walking by himself. They're doing this in front of a camera. It's all caught on tape and they don't care because they haven't had to suffer the consequences of bullying other students. And that's inexcusable. That's my problem with this whole bullying thing. I hate bullies. I hate I, them too. They're little shits, they right? They really are. I, I have no patience and no tolerance for it. If I see it, I cannot keep my mouth shut. So like if I'm at a park, if I'm at one of those like, you know, indoor play facilities in a, in a mall, there's always one little shit who is, who is bothering other kids, pushing the smaller ones, and I, I can't keep my mouth shut. I don't care if the kid's parents are watching, I go right up to the kid, I'm like, hey, you know what you're doing? You're pissing everyone off around you. Okay, you're knocking on, knocking on the little ones. You think you're a tough guy? Where's your parent? I want to talk to your parent right now. Mm -hmm. And I, I wish administrators yeah. were more like you. You know what? I, 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 can't, I can't tolerate it. And um, one time, this little kid was bullying my daughter. I fucking lost it with that mm -hmm. kid. Mm -hmm. What did you do? I don't know if I should tell the story. <laughs> people, well, people are gonna think I'm deranged. <laughs> no, you're not deranged. I think most parents can definitely empathize with you if they have kids that have been bullied because you feel helpless because obviously you can't beat that little shit up, right? Like even though in the back of your head you just wanna, mm. But you know, it, you feel helpless because you depend on other adults, whether it's the kid's parents or the administrators or the teachers to do something about it. And a lot of times either they don't care or they don't want to do anything about it because they don't want to risk losing their job. I don't know what it is. They don't want to deal with the parents complaining about the punishment. It's the most annoying thing on the planet. So what did you do? So this uh, boy, who's, he was about eight years old and my daughter was five. And they're in the, in the little jumpy house and he kept like knocking her down. And he would, he would like laugh at her. And, and she, she said, stop, can you please stop you know, pushing me down? And he's like, what are you gonna do? And he just kept knocking her down. I'm watching this whole thing and I'm, I'm giving her an opportunity to take care of herself, but she can't. She's like half his size. He's a, he's a huge eight year old and she was a small five year old. Uh, and then finally I said, hey, she's asked you several times nicely mm -hmm. to stop, uh, to stop um, knocking her down. Why don't you stop knocking her down? And you know what that little shit said to me? Mm -hmm. You're not my dad, I don't listen to you. Oh my God, I was like, oh shit. I was like, okay, let me tell you one more time. Do not knock down my daughter again. And he said to me, what are you gonna do about it? You don't, you don't say that to Steve-O. So what do you think Whether I, you're a yeah, kid or an adult, yeah. you don't so, say that to Steve-O. So what do you think I did? You punched him in the mouth. No, I didn't punch him in the mouth, <laughs> but man, I wanted to. I climbed into the, into the jumpy house, I got right into the kid's face, and I said, you know what? Are you scared of me? You should be, because I'm crazy, and I'll kick your ass. I don't care that you're a little kid. He's like, what? I was like, you know what you should do? Go get your dad, I'm gonna kick his ass too. Go get your dad right now. And he's like, oh. And then he stopped bullying. At least he stopped bullying that day. Yeah. Because I, I was watching him with other kids. I was, I, was, I was watching to see if he would leave my daughter yeah. and then bully other kids. But no, he saw that I was watching him and he didn't do anything. Oh. But see, I'm a crazy person. Yeah, that was a bit much, I yeah. will say that. He's but a, but you know, but I, kid. I could totally imagine myself doing something similar because you become very protective of your children. Yeah. And when, when, uh, when a little child is that defiant, oh my God, I'm sure it's very frustrating. Um, but that's probably not the right way to deal with uh, bullies. But I didn't hit the kid. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to, but I, I didn't hit him. I'm yeah. s thanks God. <laughs> okay, thanks God.